First place Jaguar sounds pretty good. It does, does that change anything for you guys? The mentality of the last two weeks or not? Uh, I think we're we're grateful, you know, for how things are playing out. But ultimately, you know, it still doesn't mean anything yet. You know, so we have to close out this week. This is a really good team. Um, I know their record doesn't really reflect that, but they beat us before. Um, they just won last week. And they're in our, they're in our division, so we know this what this game means. What do you remember about that week five game? I think, right? 13 to six was the final. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't great on our part, but credit to them. Uh, they did a good job of stopping us and not allowing us to put up points. You know that six points is not what we want to do. Uh, so we know we have to be more productive and take care of the football better this time around. You guys have walked down the Titans down the division race, but it's different being the hunter to being the hunted. Now. Oh, yeah. How, how do you guys handle the, just the idea of that, um, that you're on top of the division? I think that the foundation of who we are has already been set in place. Um, Doug did a great job alluding to what he put up in training camp, a couple of the PowerPoint slides that he had actually um, demonstrated to us in the beginning. So when we laid that foundation, now we don't deviate just because we are you know, the number one spot now. So we stay the course of who we are. We practice our habits and we execute what we do. And I feel like um, come game time, they will show. All three of you guys that came in here in free agency this year, you and Christian and Evan, yeah. are going to have career high seasons or, or right on the verge of yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, did you guys feel that coming in? Was that a really a true expectation? Or has, has the season gone along that grown in your mind? Or do you even look at that kind of stuff? I, I mean, I would be lying to you if I told you that I didn't, you know, know where I stood and things like that. Um, it can't be the central focus. I think individually, we all have our personal goals. Ultimately, we know it's a team game, right? And so the weeks are different. You know, Christian's had a monster week. Evan's had a, a great week. I myself have had a great week. It's been a carousel of, like, who are they going to try to stop? And I think that's what's so beautiful about players that we have on our offensive side of the ball, especially, is, like, and it could be anyone's week, and that's a gift to be a part of, an explosive offense. I mean, Travis, you know, just eclipsed 1K. Uh, Christian's on the cusp of it, you know, and so we're just really proud of our guys. Um, a lot of credit to Doug and, and Press for having trust in us and putting us in positions to make those plays, for sure. And then number 16 triggering the whole thing. He's grown as the year's gone, too. Yes, I'm very, very proud of him. I really am. I mean, um, He's dedicated, works extremely hard. Um, I'm glad he's being appreciated for who we know him to be. Um, Trevor's a greater, greater person than he is just a football player as well, so I'm happy for him as a person as well. Two, meaning you, Evan, the receivers, seem to root for each other more than maybe some receiver rooms <laughs> might. You know, I mean, but that's real, isn't it? I think that takes a sense of maturity to get to. Um, I'd be lying to you if I said I was always like that. It's hard when production is posted and flashed and all that's talked about all the time, you know? And when you can get a, to a place where you're comfortable with your being and who you are and you're solidified, you know, in your game and you're a part of a team and you can make it a selfless thing to root for your teammates and to cheer them on, maybe when you only have one catch or no catch. Um, that was what was demonstrated to me when I had my game. Christian, Marv, Evan, guys around the room showing me love. You know, and when Evan goes back to New York, knowing what that means to him, or he plays against the Giants, knowing what that means to him, that's the time for us to rally around him and support him. But ultimately, we're just all pieces of this big puzzle that we're putting together. So it's special to be part of a group that cares for each other is not ultimately just self-centered. So it helps that all you guys have four, five, six years in the league. I think it, I think it does. Um, not saying a younger player can't have it, but I think it definitely comes with a sense of just maturation over the process of understanding what's happening here in this building is way bigger than just myself individually. What's happening for this team, what's happening for this city, these coaches spending hours here, so um, it's, it's special to be a part of.